I had grand plans for this Starlink Mini and an upcoming trail race in the middle of nowhere where I would unbox this. But like many areas of life, while I was busy making plans, the universe, or more specifically, a huge colony of ants had other plans for me and my Generation 1 residential Starlink that powers all of Railhead Ranch and all of our business needs and personal needs. The Starlink Mini came to the rescue in a big way and was such a pleasant surprise. Let's walk through a real quick unboxing and deployment of the Starlink Mini and how we used it here, and then I'll share my thoughts. Our main Starlink is officially dead. This is not how I planned to use the Starlink Mini. I, I don't know if this thing even has enough juice to run my office. Oh well, let's take a look, see what we've got in the box. One pole mount. One power source adapter for a standard US 110 outlet. Starlink antenna. Really long cable. Next up, power. For my needs today, we're using a 75 foot extension cord plugged into the wall. If you are following instructions on the app, as the box indicates you should, this is everything you're supposed to do. And I know from previous experience as a Starlink user, I need my dish pointing slightly northward in a place with no obstructions in the sky. Crisis averted. Zoom calls, email, internet. Backup. All right. Your Starlink antenna is also your router. So you want all of your devices sort of within reach of that antenna. So if you go camping, you know, your phone, your laptop, and all that stuff in the tent near the antenna. And uh, where we set it up right back here, we need some of our basic devices in our house to be able to use internet, such as smart televisions. And it appears, yeah, we're good. Yeah, this is fine. We are Let's see what's happening in the gym. She's been out there three or four hours. Let's go take a look. How's the connection? We have three Peloton devices in the gym that all need internet, one for the classes, but two to track and upload your stats. Here's what blows my mind. This gym is about 70 yards from the router and still picking up the signal from the Starlink Mini. After seeing how this thing performed here at the ranch, I cannot wait to take it out with us because we've been hot spotting phones in sketchy areas to, um, to get internet access when we're out on the trail or when we're out camping or in the outdoors. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's going to be crazy to be out in the hill country natural area you know, for the Hoka Bandera um, trail race in January and watching Netflix the night before. So um, I have no concerns about it powering all the devices for our van and our personal needs or, um, you know, the impromptu Zoom call when we're in the middle of nowhere. I can't say enough about Starlink. It's been great to us. Thanks for joining us today. We hope to see you again soon. Big race tomorrow. What are we going to watch before we go to sleep? Ooh, ooh, I know. Virgin River. Virgin River? No. Oh, come on. I no. love a good soap opera. <laughs>